Good afternoon. My name is Jada Hall, and I am the STEM Promise Program Coordinator at Tidewater Community College. Here with me today, we have Bill Simmons. He is a TCC engineering professor. We also have Jenna Estery. She is one of the students in the STEM Promise Program right now. She's a computer science major. And we're here today to tell you more about the STEM Promise Program. Uh, so whether you're an educator, a parent, a potential student, or a future you know, applicant of TCC, we welcome you to our webinar. Thank you so much for joining us. First, I will get started by giving you some background information on what the STEM Promise Program is. We've been in our third year now, so we are looking for applicants for our third year of the program. Three years ago, TCC and the Women's Center partnered to offer this amazing scholarship. The purpose of the scholarship is to boost the number of minorities and women studying in science, engineering, technology, and math-related careers. Our goal is to, you know, do more graduates in these fields. So every year, we plan to select 20 students for a full ride scholarship. A full ride meaning tuition and fees are paid for, for the two year degree. And our hopes are that these students come in as a cohort model, so they're in this together and they go through their classwork together, they you know, join clubs and association, associations together, they you know, have study groups. Basically, they are together until the end of the journey here at TCC. Um, helping each other succeed in the program. While they're in the program, they have specialized mentoring and advising through the Women's Center. They participate in STEM activities, STEM engagement, and the whole purpose is to watch them throughout these two years grow professionally and graduate from TCC with that STEM degree. That's the background of the program. And again, we're in our third year. Our deadline is March the 1st, so we would love to tell you more about the program. Uh, Bill's going to give you more information on the different programs that we offer. So I can go ahead and just go down the list. All of this information, by the way, is available on tcc.edu slash STEM Promise. Currently, the degree programs that are included in our, in our STEM Promise program are the Associate of Science and Engineering, and this is our transfer program to engineering. We have an Associate of Science with a specialization in computer science, which is Jennifer background. Associate of Applied Science and Civil in Engineering Technology. That is, you can transfer that program, but it's also preparing you to go directly into the workforce. We have our Associate of Applied Science and Electronics Technology, an Associate of Applied Science and Information Systems Technology, and lastly, our Associate of Applied Science and Mechanical Engineering Technology. So right now we have six programs included in the STEM programs. So without further ado, um, hi, my name is Bill Simmons, as Jada said. Um, I am an engineering professor at TCC on the Chesapeake campus. Um, I'm also the faculty advisor for the STEM club here at Chesapeake campus. Uh, one more thing, I'm a TCC grad. I graduated you know, from TCC's engineering program a long time ago, maybe sometime in the late 80s. Uh, and I transferred to Old Dominion and got a bachelor's and master's degree in engineering. And uh, went into the workforce, spent about 20 years uh, in the engineering workforce in various jobs. I went from an engineer up into management, and I finished my career as a director of engineering for a, for a local engineering firm here. So as, a, a, as an employer and as an educator, I can tell you that it's very important to have diversity in the STEM fields. Uh, Companies in the industry are looking for diversity in STEM fields, and PCC's STEM Promise program is providing that workforce pipeline of diverse STEM students for, for industry. Very important. So the program is a great program, uh, and we're very excited here at PCC to see people like uh, Jenna uh, helped out by, by the college with tuition and uh, to get them into the STEM fields. Um, the, I teach in engineering, so I can speak to the engineering program, the transfer program here at PCC, um, and a little bit about the technology programs as well. And the transfer programs, our students take two years of engineering courses here at PCC, very rigorous courses, uh, and when they graduate, they're able to transfer with guaranteed admissions to some of the best universities in, uh, in the country. 
will. All of the state universities that offer engineering programs have guaranteed admissions agreements with, uh, with us at PCC. So, for instance, you can, if you maintain certain grade point averages, you can graduate with an associate's degree and transfer to the University of Virginia or Virginia Tech, um, Old Dominion University, Norfolk State, James Madison, George Mason University, Virginia Commonwealth University. So every university in the state you can transfer to a guaranteed admission. So, um, it's a great opportunity for students uh, to take advantage of the first two years of college with no debt. It's outstanding program. Um, uh, the, the technology programs, uh, again, I'm not as familiar with them, but my understanding from some of the technology faculty is that you can graduate with a two-year degree, say, in uh, information system technology, and get a job in upwards of $50,000 a year after two years of school. Um, some of the other technology programs, you have an option, for instance, a civil, mechanical, and electrical engineering technology program, you have an option to transfer uh, from PCC to Old Dominion University, which have four-year degrees in those technology programs, um, or go to work after two years and uh, make a decent amount of money. So, uh, to talk a little bit more about the students uh, here at PCC that are involved with the program, I'm going to pass it over to Jenna, so she can tell us about her experiences here at PCC, um, as well as with the STEM Commons program. Hi, I'm Jenna Essay. I'm currently studying computer science here at Colorado Community College. Um, what is really great about TCC is the small class sizes, where your professors actually know your name. I know about all my friends that go to universities, they tell me their Chem 111 classes or you know, these large lecture halls with hundreds of people. It's hard to speak to a professor, much less actually have a good relationship with them. And here, it's really easy to talk and get input from the professor and really work things out with them. Um, and with the scholarship, what I really, really like is I all my friends are from the court. Cohort. You build a great relationship with all of them. We study together, we hang out together. It's not just at TCC, but it's, it's much more than that. We actually have a good, long standing relationship that will extend way after we graduate from here. Uh, the, the Women's Center also provides a lot of mentorship opportunities and gives out a lot of great information. The, the other good thing about this scholarship is that it's, it may sound like it's only open to women. It's that it has women center in the name, but it's open to anybody. You, anybody can apply and that's a stigma that a lot of people, a lot of guys have. I, I tell everybody, hey, apply for this scholarship. It's a really, really great thing, but then they're like, well, it's for women, but no, it's for any, anybody can apply. So that's a big misunderstanding about the scholarship. Um, it's it, every, Anybody should apply for this. I mean, you really, it pays for all your tuition fees for two years. So you can graduate two years with no debt. And I know a lot of people stress a lot over paying for college. I mean, and here, one, the classes are just cheaper in general. And two, if you get this scholarship, you can focus more on what you're studying rather than stressing about, can, can I pay for this class or will I have to drop this? Um, the, the, this scholarship alleviates a lot of that stress. Um, that was awesome. I'm glad you're having a good experience. And she said something that I should probably go into more detail about also. Yes, definitely. This is a scholarship uh, geared towards attracting more women and minorities. It's open to anyone to apply. A lot of the folks who apply are typically high school seniors getting ready to graduate from high school and start their college career. However, I want you to know it's also open to career switchers or anyone who is interested in starting a new degree program. There are even a few students here at TCC already who may be eligible for this program as you, you know, it's okay if you have a limited number of credits as long as you are able to commit to at least a two-year uh, time frame here at TCC to do the program. 
So if you have specific questions, you can open up the Facebook Live for that. And if you're not able to submit a question, feel free to email me directly at jhall at tcc.edu. And I think we can go ahead and open up uh, questions about eligibility, questions about the academic programs, or more about Jenny's experience, any type of question as well. So we have a question from Sharon. I want to know if things get to apply to the Absolutely. As part of the application process, you must apply to TCC first. So once you're accepted into TCC, then you can move forward with applying to the scholarship. So if you're in homeschool and you're able to provide transcripts, then you'll be able to apply for this scholarship. And we had another question. Um, and do you have to be a recent high school graduate? No, you do not have to be a recent high school graduate, but we will look at high school transcripts if available, and we're looking for a 3.5 GPA or higher. So uh, if you have your high school transcripts, you would upload those, or if you have a DVD transcript, you're able to upload those for, uh, we're able to look at those as well. And I know in some circumstances, you may not have a high school transcript or may not be able to get access to it. I would just ask before you get discouraged, please contact my office. Maybe we can find out if there's any other way that we could work with you if you have maybe a uh, previous college GPA that you could utilize in the of the high school transcript that we can look it up. And Stephanie was asking, she says she already has an associate's degree from TCC. Can you still apply for a PhD? Yes, I would definitely encourage you to still apply for the program. And we have another question. Uh, they were wondering if students from overseas international high school diplomas. Yes, absolutely. And they be they will have to go through the application process and admission international admissions process through TCC first. But once they you know they get through that and they're able to apply the records to the program. Well, I think that was everything. I'm just checking my notes to make sure I didn't forget anything. The 3.5 GPA. Um, and just so you know, when you start your application, you are going to have, I believe, six questions to answer. One is upload your transcripts. Two is a letter of recommendation from a professor. Um, we would prefer a STEM professor. If you have a counselor or even an employer who could speak on your behalf about your academic ability, that would be great. You're able to just provide their name and contact information, and you'll contact them for the letter. You'll have two short essay questions and a resume. And we have a template for you to fill out for the resume. So, you know, it seems like a lot, but it's really not. Um, it's very self-explanatory. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly at my office, 757-822-7296, or on my email, jhall at tcc.com. Thank you. So thank you so much for joining us and taking the time to learn about scholarship. Deadline is March 1st, don't forget.